Okay, these are all forces that you've come across previously, but the truth is they're all just different variations of four fundamental forces. And these are the four fundamental forces, sometimes known as fundamental interactions. The strong nuclear force, the electromagnetic force, the weak nuclear force, and the gravitational force. The strong nuclear force, as the name suggests, is the strongest. It acts only on hadrons, so it doesn't act on leptons like electrons and so on. It does it acts on hadrons like protons, neutrons, and you will find later on mesons as well. It holds the nucleus together, that's his main role. And the exchange particle is a, a called the gluons or pions. Now, what are exchange particles? Okay, exchange particles are sometimes known as exchange bosons are particles which are exchanged between two particles like this, which are interacting through the four fundamental forces. They can carry momentum and they can carry charge and so on. Okay, for the strong nuclear force to exchange particles is the gluons or pounds. The strong nuclear force is very short range, so beyond three femtometers, which is three times 10 to the minus 15 meters, it's extremely weak. The strong nuclear force is also how strange particles are produced. Okay, the second strongest force is the electromagnetic force or the electromagnetic interaction and that's responsible for the electrostatic force and the magnetic force. The electrostatic force is basically between charged particles, anything that has charge, positive or negative, and as you know, op um, like charges attract and opposite charges repel. Also, electromagnetic force is also responsible for the magnetic force, which is when charged particles are moving, like when there's a current in a wire. Uh, the exchange particle for the electromagnetic force is called a virtual photon. Now, it's called a virtual photon because you can't actually detect the virtual uh, the photon itself. Okay, so here's an example of an electromagnetic interaction. You've got two electrons that are approaching each other. They will exchange a virtual photon and then be repelled. Okay, this can also cause an attraction between, for example, an electron and a proton. Now, if I put something in between to detect the virtual photon, that means the virtual photon won't be exchanged between the two particles and they wouldn't repel each other. So that's why we call it virtual because you can't uh, detect it. Okay, despite being called the weak nuclear force, this interaction isn't actually the weakest, it's the second weakest. It acts on all particles, hadrons and leptons. Uh, the exchange particles for the weak nuclear interaction is the W plus and the W minus bosons. Uh, first thing, these bosons are different from the ones we saw before, they are charged. Okay, also, they have mass. Um, them having mass also means that the, the weak nuclear force is extremely short range. It's 0 0.001 femtometers. The weak nuclear interaction is what's responsible for radioactive decay, for example, the beta plus and the beta minus decay. And uh, finally, the weak nuclear force is different in that the strangeness of particles doesn't need to be conserved during any weak nuclear interactions. It can change by either plus one, it doesn't have to change at all, or it can decrease by minus one, okay? So counterintuitively, it's actually the gravitational force that's the weakest. It acts on everything, so anything with mass or energy, so particles and also photons. Um, it, it, the gravitational force has is very long range, so that's why we can experience it in everyday life between objects falling and between planets and so on. The exchange particle for the gravitational force is called the graviton. It hasn't been discovered yet, so it's theoretical at the moment. 